Hey, it's a fun student here and today I'm going to showcase a little program I created where I can draw a power function and exponential function inside JavaFX. And it's also set up with Scene Builder. So very simply, the program works in the way I can either pick between the power function or an exponential function. Let's try with a power function first. I can then use these sliders to give an input of an X value or an A value or a B value. So here we can see I have my power function and I can then change my, as you can see down here, my B value first and my A value. And we can see the power function when it's smaller than one. We have this shape when it's larger than one. It's either growing or it's kind of stagnating and going towards a number. You know a bit about power functions. Then we have exponential functions where we can either have one going like to infinity or if we go below one so this is with an a value of like 1.03 so it's growing three percent or below one and then we change the b value we can see this one going towards zero so that's kind of the main setup we have two radio buttons i can pick between one of the buttons whenever i sli use my slider i update my functions and i can then check and play around with it and see how it looks if we have a quick look at the scene builder setup, we just very simply have some sliders, some radio buttons, and an empty pane, which is on this pane. Technically, we are drawing our functions. And what you might be able to see is that our functions are actually just drawn using dots. So I'm technically not drawing the functions, I'm just inputting some x values to my functions and then getting x and y values, and then drawing these dots which is probably not the most correct way of doing it, because you can see right here it looks a bit funky but I thought it was actually quite nice and an interesting effect so I just it's going to use this for now I think it's quite cool actually so one of the main things that's most interesting about this setup is that to be able to change between my exponential and power function very easily I have a first an abstract class called just function that contains the basic functionality of a function a and B value, how we can create the function, I can format to have the text displayed in a proper way, I can get my A value and I get my B value and I can get my Y value when I input my X value. And then just very simply for each of them, just simply define how the math works specifically for this function using the, the specific function, in this case the exponential function would have exponential setup. And I just created two strings so we can print it on the screen. And because of this, having the except exponential and the power function set up in the same way, we can, inside our controller, just have our pane, or in this case, we have a raw function method that just simply knows that we need a function, getting the text from the function, and we need to go through a for loop where we draw the function one dot at a time using a function dot get y and because our abstract class function contains the abstract class get y we can just call get y on the function and then depending if the function is a exponential function or a power function we get a different output but in this case we just need to use function dot get y because our input is going to be function so we can just simply switch and we don't need to check if we are at one of the other because they are technically working the same way with different outputs otherwise inside initialize we just set up our sliders we just very simply add a kind of like a listener so whenever we change the value of the sliders we check if our power function is selected or our exponential function is selected we then set our function which again, as mentioned, is using the abstract class to define it as a function, but then we need to define specifically if it's a power function or an exponential function. And then depending on what it is, we just add ones. We then update or first clear our audit system, which is our pane. So we'll remove all the dots if we had some already, and then draw the function, print the text to the screen. Right there, what is the function we have right now? We then go through like the function one at a time using going from zero to 100 going 0 0.5 at a time and drawing a lot of dots 
and we just call draw points, which just simply draws these circles using the coordinates we get from our function. But what I at least find most interesting about this setup is that we are using polymorphism, which is what I've been trying to explain using an abstract class as the main definition of our type, and then have these specific classes that is extending our abstract class to define the more specific. So we use the get y from our abstract class and then get specific use inside our specific defined function by overriding our get y method. So this is my solution to a small program where I would draw power functions or exponential functions. And maybe if you wanted something that was a bit more proper, you could say instead of just having dots, we could add something where we would draw a line between all of the dots to actually get a real function. But this was my solution. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do a like and subscribe. And I wish you all a wonderful day.